Hi everybody, good morning. This is the Human Colony Saturday webinar and today is December 10th, 2016. My name is Bree and we have a special edition webinar this morning where we are featuring, it's kind of like a mini channel panel. So we have three different channelers that were nice enough to join us today. And um, I don't believe any of these people have been on our Saturday webinars before. So welcome all three of you. Thank you for joining. We have Gabe, Ade Mariah, and Brian Sims. So good morning. And we're going to be starting with Gabe today because he has been um, guided to provide a sort of meditation for us in Arcturian meditation. Um, it's a little bit more than a meditation though. It is information for us to be able to can better connect our soul with our body. Um, instead of having conflict and issues with kind of like integration and having all of this just um, randomness it's it kind of helps us center ourselves and um really truly connect to who we are and so um we're very lucky this morning to um get that meditation sort of um session from him and then he's going to do a little q a for us a little bit i am going to have to be a little selective with the questions this morning because um certain channelers are able to answer certain things i'm not going to be picking questions about like what's my dna or something um so we'll just have to kind of tailor them towards um uh, the channeler who's going. Um, so we can try to keep it a little bit more general um, in terms of uh, then uh, a day is going afterwards and it and she will have a message for us first and then she'll go into Q&A. And Brian is a little bit open, open ended, but um, kind of the same thing as well. So really excited this morning for um, what we have going so thank you all for joining um, I will be watching the YouTube live chat and um, also quick announcements please just go to our humancolony.org page to see the calendar and to be able to see upcoming events I believe next Saturday we have Jim returning I think I think um, Jim Charles returning for us to channel. Uh, in terms of other events, oh, I know that Max is channeling tomorrow. He's having a, his webinar, I think it's at 11 Eastern Standard Time. Um, so check the humancolony.org page for that. You can always go to humancolony.org slash jump to get our participation links and the YouTube watch links. Um, other than that, I don't know if we have any other announcements. Does anybody have anything else they would like to announce in terms of upcoming things they have going on? Yes, um, I would like to. Hello, everyone. My name is Brian Sims. Um, can you all hear me okay? Am I good? Hi, Brian. I um, yes. will be giving sessions to people. Um, I'm going to set up uh, everything, get everything ready. It's going to be through my YouTube page where they'll be able to access a donation page through PayPal. And you, I'll be using, you can donate credit card, you can use your credit card or regular just PayPal. And um, I'm going to be giving our sessions um, starting here probably within two weeks. I'm getting everything set up. And um, yeah, so uh, I'm look, very excited about that. It's a long time in the making. And um, I, I'm very appreciative of all of you. All of you. Um, I specialize in shadow energy. I, I specialize in that which holds you back. And so I'm here to help you, assist you, and to break through those barriers on what is holding thyself back. So um, it can be from love to relationships to, um, you know, even connecting to your extraterrestrial friends but really just bringing the best out of you and who you are and uh, to help empower you. So thank you very much, Bree. Thank you. Thank you, Brian. That is super exciting to hear you're doing private sessions. So um, that is awesome. And on that note then, a day, why don't we go ahead right now um, and just mention you are also doing private sessions too, yes? Yes, I do offer private channeling sessions, healing sessions, 
Um, you can book it through my website. I believe you have that listed on the event page. Mm -hmm. um, as far as upcoming events, it's in the works. I am collaborating with a few people. I know that Neil and I are working on um, an upcoming webinar that we're doing. Uh, we're not sure of the theme yet, so it's really not much of an announcement right now. And I will do another webinar with Fairy Mermaid. Um, that is Natalia. We've done one before. Um, and so, yeah, that's what I do have coming up. I believe you also have listed my YouTube channel. That's where you'll find some of my healing videos and channelings. So, yeah. <laughs> I do both trans and uh, conscious channeling, by the way. So, Yes. Um, it's super exciting seeing, uh, seeing you guys here today and what we're all starting to just provide for the world. Um, please reach out to any of these channelers, anybody here, if you need anything, um, we are happy, happy to help. So um, I know that Gabe is, um, he has been in this for quite a while, but he has not been like channeling incessantly like some other people. So um, Gabe, then I guess we can, we can, if you want to explain a, just a tiny bit about your journey and kind of um, your your channeling in terms of you're you're a little more guided to channel. It's not like you you always sit there and say I want to channel, right? So this is something you've been guided to do. Yeah, I, for me it goes like up and down. Like sometimes I feel like really disconnected. You know, I've been traveling from like three D and four D. Like so sometimes I like now it's time for me to channel and then sometimes it's like i can't channel now so it's just and i recommend people you know to channel when they feel like channeling you don't have to channel you know and uh, it's a process of channeling and getting information and the use and how to balance and the use you know it's about like connecting to your body you know it's for some people when i started and then i I really want to channel, but I didn't know why I want to channel, you know. Um, I have, it's it's a process of learning, like, connect all the energies to yourself and what you want to do, you know. Um, for me, I realized I want to channel, you know, having fun, you know. It's, it's not supposed to be a job, you know. It's supposed to be fun, you know, for yourself, you know. If, if you don't get anything from the channeling, you shouldn't really channel, you know but it's all up to you, you know? Yeah, that's a very good point. And, and that goes kind of for anything that we love to do. Um, if it starts to feel like a job, then I guess it becomes a little bit different. So always follow your highest excitement. And right now, Gabe, your highest excitement is to provide us with an awesome meditation. So we're very thankful to have you here. Um, so thank you all for joining. I think we're just gonna do a quick little round of blessings here get the vibrations heightened a bit and um, then we will start out we're gonna do approximately 40 minutes a person and then that should probably cover because um, I feel like 30 minutes really just is not enough time so um, wonderful then with that said um, did anyone want to start out with a blessing I didn't check here if uh, we have a few people I think um, well, I will do a quick blessing, and then if somebody would like to do a blessing after, please just jump right in. Mahanteo kahau shan taharo toko nahaya na tau koto honto shara hanti kata tau soto no hoya kiato ro no koto to antahayo ko shantai kiato. Mataya, mataon tai e koto na haya rato to anaha oto shan na hai o koto ontoa haya to ko oto rohon tia kata shotoa. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you all for being here today in this beautiful new gathering of energies. Jasoto kuya shamialo kuakahi mala atoya sapahala kuya masi tiara. Soto ashami amaira kiatahi satalia nanoa sataki palahama okorabaki soto shohamiawa 
Soto paya wala hi sanoa soto ro pahala soto shumeya kwa soto shipa kahena sora hasana koha soto shibiara miana kaha namaste Thank you, Wendy. Awesome. Carolina, I'm sorry. Did you say that you were going to? I, I can't tell what you mean by that message. Yes, yes. Oh, yes, thank please. you. Aya tu arata nani ya tu akana aya titi anala aya koto to atata yanana iyo lua nana kayata. Iyo no no toto ro toto anana iya ku atata yanala aya tu anana iya koto ala nana iya kuwa. Ay, Ananiya, kuwana na la iya na nakantua. Namaste. Thank you so much. Wonderful. Did anyone have any other blessings they'd like to do in any language, in any way? It does not have to be a light language. Otherwise, I think we can get started. Wonderful. Okay, well then, Gabe, um, you're going to start, you said, with the sort of meditation, and then we'll move into some questions maybe a little bit, whatever you're comfortable with. So um, please go right ahead. So I, I'm i going, it's, if you want to meditate on the things I'm saying, you go ahead and do that. If you don't, it's all up to you, you know. So I'm going to speak some languages to make the connection. Really. So are you all ready? Brian is like, ooh, so... Just relax your body and feel everything is surrounding you. Everything is amazing, you know, because you are amazing. And everything you are is amazing. So it's time for you as a soul connected to your body to connect fully to your body because it's not all, all about you. It's about everything you are, you know. It's... You're not alone in your body. Every, your body is entirely you. Everything surrounds you is absolutely you. It's all connected from here to everybody. We're down there. It's everything you are. Everything is amazing. And you are amazing being here on Earth. And for me, Gabriel here, it's been kind of like been taught that I'm alone, like always alone, and uh, I was told only think about with my head and not with my body and soul and everything. You know, it's time to connect our soul to our entire body. You know, it's we're not here to be alone. Our body is here to support us because it is connected for everything who you are. Ooh, everything you are is your body, and it's amazing because. I had a war with my head and my body for a really long time. It's all sort of like fighting. I didn't even know why I was fighting because I was hurting in my whole body because I thought my brain was the only thing who I was, you know. It's that's what I believed I was, you know. And then I realized I was everything. The whole body is all mine and everything all a part of your body is here to support you, you know. It's connected to you you know from up there to down there everything you know and all the chakras is all connected you know all everything is working perfectly all the time and you don't have to be letting one single part of your body not be part of you because all the way from your hands your feet and everything is talking to you always and saying we support you you know it's amazing and we are here to support you it, your body's never been here to hurt you, cause you pain. It's just that we've been taught to think that the body's hurting us, you know. But if you relax and take a break, and then you realize your hands actually saying, we love you, you know, love you, everything who you are, because we are amazing. What do you think about that? And we keep teaching ourselves, you know, it's 
it doesn't work or anything like that because it but it does work you know our body is here and supporting us all the time you know it's just we need to connect our body to to our soul completely you know we are a united being you know we are all connected we are not alone in our body we've never been alone but we've been teaching ourselves that we are alone in my bond our body but we are all connected and it's important for us to connect to our body because all these feelings we have is something for us to enjoy and connect to you know it's pain and suffering is something we can learn to and it's a part of who we are and we need we need to stop fighting with it and start enjoying who we are because like the brain is not designed to work different from our bodies you know it's supposed to connect you know when when we make a decision we have to make it through an entire body instead instead of just one part and focus on all our enemies on one part of our body it's not really logical to do that because we're all everything this body is all connected to you with the soul the universe you know any question about that because it's all one you know we we live here with our bodies you know our bodies has always been here it's never had an argument with you but maybe you had had an argument with your body you know and it's time to realize that we can end this war within ourselves and start enjoying an entire body you know and be connected you know and all the chakras will join in perfectly you don't have to worry about one part of your chakra not working you know start talking about like i want to be connected to my entire body and this all the chakras will work by themselves it's designed to work by themselves you're not supposed to know everything about your chakras because they are here supporting you you know you wouldn't have the chakras in your body it was if it wasn't here to support you the same with your hands these hands are here to support you and it's all connected to you you know it, they want to follow you always you know even if you cause yourself pain they always support you your body's always been here supporting you it's never meant to do any harm to you you know for your entire lifetime but it's time for us now to say thank you to my body you know and connect fully any to entire body and soul and you all have this power inside of you it's it, you just want to connect you know and you need to have peace with yourself because you don't have to worry about your body anymore let your body help you you know you're not alone it's not just you you know it's everything and it's all here to support you it's never intended to hurt you at all but if you start think continue thinking about like pain and suffering and start worrying about yourself you keep on creating like a war inside of yourself why do you want to have a war why do you why do you shoot a gun inside of yourself it's just hurting yourself as soon as you realize that you are creating an inner war with yourself you stop you realize we don't want this this is not part of who i am and then you say hi and then you feel like your entire body is lifting up while you walk on the street it's not like you're carrying big bags around you that is your body you know if you work with your entire body when you go outside you you feel like light you know you can go and do whatever you want you know instead of having your body dragging you down because the body do what you tell the body to do and it's always supporting you because it's always connected to you, who you are and you are have free will to do whatever you want with it it's always going to support you 
no matter what you're doing. So let's connect our soul to our head, to our body, to our heart, to our lungs. Every single part of your body is belongs to you. It's who you are and it's all connected to everything. How does that make you feel instead of like me, I used to only be in my head, you know, and it took a long time for me to connect to my body, you know, and as soon as I realized I had a war with my head and my body, I, I said like, I just, it doesn't work, you know, it's, we are all connected to each other and my body just said, yes, and then we continue and living happily instead of arguing all the time instead of and you don't really even realize you're arguing with your body you know because you're getting so used to it and it's time for us to like allow if you make a decision allow your entire body to make the decision of your life instead of just one part of your body how does that feel like any questions so far And we need to realize how, how amazing we are because we are all the same and connected. This body is you, you, who you are. You're not one part of your body, you're in, your entire body body is part of you and your soul is connected to your body and it's time for us to realize that we are connected to our bodies you know <sighs> any questions thank you for reminding us that there that there is no separation and it's never been separate you may believe that you are separated and the body keeps teaching you that if you ask the body to let me be separated from you it's going to show you that it's separated from you because it's supporting you in that way but if you ask your body to support you fully and be connected it's going to do that too and it's really easy I have a question in terms of um, body pain and disease, dis-ease manifestations in the body um, in terms of being disconnected. Are you able to elaborate on um, how reconnecting is able to assist with healing? these things yeah physically if you stop if you stop having a war with that body part you know if it's if you united with your body it's going to feel a lot better you know and realize it's connected to who you are it's it's not here to hurt you you know and don't be afraid to explore it you know it's it's part of who you are but it's, if you keep on disconnecting yourself to your body you're going to create more pain that you need to have you know and the pain is just reminding you hey i'm here you know can you say hi to me you know that body part just want to say hi you know yes yes absolutely um as all of our um energy wavelengths that make up ourselves seem to be conscious uh we our our body is conscious our our skin is conscious everything so um including our dna so um i have heard of people talking to their dna and working together to heal themselves um yes and 
what what we feel is like headache is, is usually like you being taught that you should think only with your head you know your head is not your entire soul and body you know it's it's not designed to make all the decision if if you put all the decision in your head you're going to have headache you know your entire body is supposed to help you in, it's not just one part of your body do you understand but if you channel all your energies and all the problems you have to one part of your head you're going to have headaches yes okay yeah that makes sense so um and we just had a question on that same topic um alex was asking what if you don't like that specific part of yourself that you need to explore and it's it ends up being a conflict with your state of mind we, it's all everything in your body is part of who you are if it wasn't here it if it wasn't you it wouldn't be here you know it's it's part of who you are so it's it's time for you to explore it and don't be afraid to explore it because it's connected to who you are you know so it's it's here to support you it was if it wasn't was here it wouldn't be here to support you meaning that it is here within your body it's here to support you and you need to realize how we can support you you know and your entire body can help you it's not just you're not alone in your body and if you start seeing that you're not alone in your body anymore and stop we kind of have like bags we're carrying with negative stuff that we don't like in our bodies and mind everything like that and that drags our entire body down we need to start removing all this bag you know and thank them for helping me so far and we don't need it anymore we need to transform it in, into something i really like you understand that yes yes um al was commenting the body is a temple and it is so true we um are not separate from anything um even if there's the illusion that it seems that way for the sake of this experience so um in terms of then uh, self-talk because you're talking about more fully integrating the soul with the body um but and we also have many layers of our body rather than just the physical there's also from what i've learned uh it seems like there's also an, an emotional body and a mental body and a spiritual body and even an etheric body um so it, it seems like better connecting your soul would, would then um, better connect it to all these different aspects, all these different layers of the body and um, pull it in more. So when you say better connecting your soul, are you also saying that in terms of like say um, some of the ascended masters seem to have more connection with their soul and their body, correct? Is it that no, sort of thing? No, you're always 100% connected to your body and soul, you know, but it's, it's just how you perceive it yourself, you know, and how you want to live your life. So it's no way, there's no better way you're living than, like, when it doesn't have, live a better lifetime than you are, you know, it's not, it's all what you perceive yourself, you know, who you are. Okay. Um, interesting. So in terms of um, people who don't have any belief system about it, for people who don't even believe that um, there's such thing as a soul, um, I'm curious what the, what the difference then is in terms of their connection that you're speaking of. Yeah, I, I can't I don't really have any good answer on that right now. Oh, that's okay. Um it's it's in interesting to think of all the different possibilities here. So um the this information is just some if you wanna take this information and it helps you, you can use it to help you. If you don't want resonate with it, you don't resonate with it, you know. 
Yes, yes, absolutely. Um, and the Arcturians, if you could maybe go a little bit into the Arcturians and healing, if you have any information on that, Gabriel, because um, some people may be new to um, this type of information, and it, it does seem like the Arcturians have a very uh, high understanding of healing, and they are a very high vibrational collective. I, I just feel like it's positivity. It's I can't really say what's right and wrong right now. Yes, absolutely. Positivity. Yeah, the, um, a whole lot of positivity. Um, speaking Arcturian is very yeah. high vibrational. And be true <laughs> to yourself. Don't, don't smile if you don't feel like smiling. You have to like allow your entire body, you know, instead of smiling with just your face, you should allow your entire body to be happy instead of just one part of your body to be happy. You know, it's, it's time for us to be connected and start teaching ourselves about our entire body, you know, because we are a great teacher of ourselves. You know, we are really powerful. You understand that? Yes, yes, absolutely. We are God, well, God as creator beings. I see a lot of people putting out, out a smile, but they are really unhappy inside. You know, we need to allow the entire body to feel everything we feel. You know, We don't have to disconnect any part of our body to ourselves, because we are all, everything is who you are. You know. Yes, even the things that we may not uh, feel are so pleasant, like emotions that we may not enjoy so much, such as anger or sadness or, or pain. Um, it, is, it is all a part of us, and, and I like that you just use the word allow, because that seems to be very strong right now. Um, the message is coming through for, from a lot of different places seem to be about allowing us allowing this human experience for everything it, that it encompasses, not just the happiness and the joy and the, you know, fluttery butterfly feelings and the, I mean, all of it, you know, so allowing yourself to, if you're irritated, allowing yourself to be irritated, paying attention to that part of you and acknowledging it, not feeding it, but acknowledging it so that you're able to then move forward because it seems as though when we try to ignore it or, or, or shove it down in the dirt and, um, and forget about it and act like it doesn't exist, that's when um, those often seem to manifest into bigger issues. And then that would... You, you get... create a war inside of your body. It's like you're fi yeah. firing gunshot at yourself and you don't realize you're firing gunshot and then you end up being in pain and stuff like that, you know. Like anger and sadness and happiness, it's all same. It's all here to support you, you know. Being angry is not a bad thing. It's, it's self something you can enjoy and you should, should enjoy it because it's something that teaches you something, you know. When you're you're lonely and you start crying, you, you start feeling better because is actually here to help you and the anger and sadness and everything like that it's all here connecting to you if it wasn't here it, it wouldn't be it's here because it needs to support you you know it if it if you didn't have those feelings at all it wouldn't be necessary but meaning that you can feel anger meaning that something necessary it needs part of who you are, you know, so you should embrace it. Yes, yeah, especially the um, the crying aspect that is actually a very healing form of releasing um, unneeded energy and just um, allowing yourself to do that. I, I know there's still such a stigma in the world, especially for males still, unfortunately, it seems. Um, in society in terms of, of crying and so we're luckily moving away from you know these old paradigms where you know we're 
we're instilling beliefs to keep people disconnected. So um, now the focus is to reconnect and to welcome every part of the human experience we have. Um, so, um, and, and it's a prospect of connecting to your body. If you were fully connected to your body, it wouldn't be exciting having all these feelings and having great excitement and try seeing it as exciting things to learning what belief system doesn't work for you and what belief system works for you. It's something for you to explore. It's not something you, it's here. It's here for you to explore, you know. And if you try, and I encourage you to try finding belief system that doesn't work for you and remove it, you know, it's really easy to remove belief system. But if you believe that it's hard to remove belief system, then it's going to be hard. You understand? Yes. Yeah. Um, and that's a, that is a very good point. All of this does come down to our belief system. So even in terms of our belief system about us having belief systems, <laughs> that that is a factor as well. Us, um, we can make things so e so easy for ourselves. We really can. Um, but it's a matter of believing that it can be easy. Easy. Uh, and we're moving, like I had mentioned, into this entire different paradigm where things are getting a lot easier. I mean, we've struggled through, you know, these these denser energies for so long because it was important, and um, we're moving up and out of that. And and so things are changing very very rapidly. I wanted to read a few of the comments we had here, um, just in terms of what we've been discussing. I like some of the things that were said. Um, Wendy had mentioned. Um, you know, in terms of not really liking a certain part of your body and then having issues with that and then, you know, feeling as though, oh, is this getting in the way of me really fully connecting to every part of myself? And, um, and Wendy said, well, think with integrity, um, the integration of the body, mind, and spirit with all decisions. And the acknowledgement is the first allowance of transformation. And I feel and, like and that's when, very true. And when you and when you look at the mirror and you see yourself and you keep on seeing like I don't like this who I'm seeing, you know. But if you start exploring with your body and connecting fully to your body, you you start going to the mirror and really like what you're seeing because it's who you are. You know? Why would you see yourself as I don't like who I am, you know? And it's only going to cause you pain seeing you, yourself that way but it's your shows if you want to decide seeing yourself as as something you don't like you're going to feel that way you know but if you start seeing yourself as you like and start being who you are fully you know you're going to love yourself always Yes, and it, unfortunately it does seem, at least in my experience, that a lot of times when people don't like something about themselves, it's because somebody had said something and then they took that belief system upon themselves. Um, I think it, that is more often what happens, and um, we no longer have to, you know, let what other people's belief systems are dictate how we feel uh, about anything include especially about ourselves um so this is very important i feel to better get in tune with who you really are and what you really resonate with and what you really care about mm -hmm. and need and and um and even in terms of food like choosing food you know we can even take this a step further if if you're more in touch with your true self, it's easier for you to tell what you need and um, you can listen to your body and your body will actually tell you um, what frequencies would benefit it, right? And don't be afraid if you start exploring your body and everything and things goes wrong because if things start going wrong, it's actually here to teach you something. So it's, it's actually positive that things go wrong in your life. And because then you get to explore how you're going to react to it and feel about it. You know, it's here to 
support you. Everything, everything you do, everything that happens to you is here to support you. If you start seeing that way in a positive way, you you start living more positivity. But it's all up to you. Yes, and just to add on that, I mean, understanding now all the stuff about the nature of the holographic universe and and um, we're creating everything that we see. This is all a co-creation, but we individually, we are the creators and we are able to um, change the outcome of something based on our perspective of it. So just like you had said, Gabe, you know, when, when you start to see not only everything you have, everything that you see as a tool, something to help you something to benefit you even if it's a speck of dirt you know even if it's a a leaf falling off of a tree it is a message for you and we are when we more integrate when we when we start to connect more with everything knowing that there truly is no separation um that's when things really seem to come together and we start to figure out why what this is all for and it's beautiful and start teaching yourself it's your body is a whole being you know it's you're not you don't have to be in one part of your body i was in a long time in one part of my body now i'm more fully in my body so can you explain what you mean by that? Do you mean like um, blockages and chakras or? Blockages inside of your body, you know. I, I, I was in a war with my brain and my heart and body, you know. I could only feel like almost I had because I didn't allow myself to be part of my entire body. And feel like every piece of your body is here and it's always talking to you, you know, but you never listen to it, you know, you can start listening to your body, you know, and instead of make letting one part of your body make one decision, make your entire body be part of everything you do. Because it's yeah. here to support you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We're, I mean, this is a... <laughs> We're all residing in a meat vessel that is, you know, our, our little vehicle to navigate this earth plane. You know, I mean, um, it's truly a blessing. And we chose to look certain ways for certain reasons to have certain experiences. And it's, none of it is bad. It, polarity is an illusion as well as separation. So, um you know, we we may have grown to have certain beliefs about certain things because society has told us this, that, or the other thing. But truly, I mean, think about how off-worlders feel. You know, they don't have all these <laughs> belief systems, you know, caught up in, in, in terms of, oh, well, that magazine has that really skinny, airbrushed, photoshopped, completely fake lady on it. You should look like her, shouldn't you? I mean, that's what society tells you. So... Um, we're able to get rid of all this junk now and just throw it out the window. <laughs> we don't need it anymore. Um, and it's and, really exciting, the self-love. And, and there is a kid who was born blind and deaf, and he, he wasn't taught all the things we other humans usually been taught, you know. So he was living his life in excitement because he wasn't taught about not being happy really and being all the pain in our society and stuff like that so he oh, wow he lived his life he lives right now like excitement um my internet he doesn't cut out get, right when you said you said a kid was born with what he was blind and deaf so he wasn't taught he can't be taught about uh war and uh, people not having food and stuff like that, you know, and start worrying about that stuff. It doesn't belong to, you know, worrying about other people. It's not part of who you are. It's their decision. It's not your decision. If you bring out their miserably, miserably or problems into yourself 
and trap it inside of your body, you're going to feel pain and disconnecting your body because you're bringing stuff in that doesn't belong to you. Do you understand that? Yes. Yeah. And uh, all pain that any of us have ever experienced, I know I myself have experienced a great deal with, you know, having different types of, you know, autoimmune problems and this and that and, you know, whatever the doctors say. And um, I'm so thankful now for the pain I've experienced. And even when I get pain now, I'm, I'm so thankful to my body. I thank my body and I say thank you for giving me this sensation because I wouldn't know that something is off kilter if it weren't for this. You know, there, there have been people who have been born without the ability to sense pain and they typically die really young because um, things go wrong and they don't even know it, you know, and we are actually only able to sense an extremely tiny portion of what our body truly does. Our, 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 our sensors are very limited in that way so even that fact we are blessed to <laughs> if we think the pain is so bad you know it, it if everything was turned on it could be a lot worse if you know all of our sensors were able to sense all that so it's it's very interesting to um to explore these different avenues and really um come down to the understanding that it is a choice it is up to us on on how we want to experience this reality from here on out um, and our vibration then I will add um, dictates the rest of our experience um, and making sure to really be mindful of your focus and and your energetic currency that you're paying to people or things or situations or memories um very start, much start start living here and now you don't have to live in the future or the past you live yes. right now and stop worrying about something that happened before start learning from your past and be excited about the future instead of mixing future and past right here and now because it doesn't it, it's not here going to support you because everything you need is right now it's always now when you watch look at the time it's always now it's never 10 minutes later or 10 minutes before it's right now and stop bringing all the stuff from the future or from the past in here and start worrying about the fu future or worrying about the past and start learning about the future and be excited. I mean, learning about the past and be excited about the future. Do you understand? Yes, that is so essential. It's also so essential to move forward with that focus on the current moment in our illusion of time, <laughs> because um, nothing else matters. Actually, none of it. We can try to project as much as we want into the future, but the the way that we're able to change the future into a desired outcome is by being mindful of where we're at right now not and, the other way around and you're always a new person all the time so if you make a decision i'm going to play I, i'm going to play some music in 10 minutes and when 10 minutes arrive you might like you're a new person that that i'm Maybe you want to go eat at that time. Why would you make all the decision right now in 10 minutes that I'm going to play music? Let, let ourselves do what I feel like doing in 10 minutes instead. Do you understand? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. It's, um, it's amazing to actually be mindful of, of every moment. And, yeah, and I know that I think a lot of us have been raised to because that was the that was how things had to be before you know you had to worry and plan ahead and schedule this and do that and we're literally moving into an entirely different era a different dimension a different uh, way of existence 
And I don't know if you guys have experienced the same, but a lot of people are talking about interesting time slips and time warps and just strange things happening with their sense of time. Um, and this is continuing on um, with, with all these changes in the energies. It's getting very interesting. So. Yes. Are, are we done now? With the time. How what did you it? say? Is it time for the next channel? channel? Oh, <laughs> well, actually, um, we are closing out here with, um, with your time, but I guess, Gabe, I would like to ask if there's, there's any final words or any final messages uh, you would like to give for us before we move forward. Just, lo just love your body, you know, and be part, you know, and don't worry about your body. Stop, stop worrying about everything, you know. It's, it's here to support you. Everything you have. Start thinking that everything in your universe is here to support you instead of being against you and it's actually going to start supporting you and you're going to make it support you you know it's not going to support you if you don't want it to support you thank you so much gabe for coming today and channeling for us and providing us with not only that awesome information but i Every time you speak that language, I burst into laughter. I had to make sure I was muted because <laughs> it's so funny. But I love it. Th th that was conscious channeling. So, like, I've been yes. I've been getting like so much download this week about this stuff. So, oh, that's awesome. Well, thank you. Thank you Gabe. That was really awesome. Yay! <laughs> yeah, so yeah, much fun. thank you. You feel like I feel like crying. <laughs> oh well, we we really appreciate. I'm so excited that you're here on a webinar. This is so awesome because I yeah, know you've so been a part of this so been a part of this community <laughs> for years and years, like close to when it first started. I think so. This is pretty epic. I think in my book, and and you're probably one of the youngest people we have. In, in our community, you're not the youngest, I'm sure, but you know, it's Brian cool. channels too. So, <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's good to see you here, Gabe, because this is the uh, Gabe and I were one of the first people in Human Colony together, and he was one of the very first people I ever met, and then Brian was right after. So, this is very exciting for me to see you here today. So, it's been a long time since we've gotten to see your beautiful face. So thank you, Gabe, for for joining joining us and channeling. And so next we are going to move on to a day. A day, I'm not even saying that right, am I? Can you please correct me, my pronunciation? <laughs> I am not very fussy about the pronunciation of my name. I know. But if uh, you want me to tell you how it's pronounced, it's a day. A day. A day. There we yes. go. Okay. I heard but half of what you again, said. Again, I really don't mind people. <laughs> okay. Well, we're so happy to have you here. And um, I know that you had mentioned you have a message for us to start out with. And I'm very excited to hear this because it sounds like it's going to be a really important topic. Um, then we are going to move into Q&A. So for people who have been um, putting some questions on the live chat or on the side, I am trying to keep track here. So um, even in terms of general messages or whatever, just nothing about like your DNA percentages, please uh, do that in like a, a private session. It's not this isn't the place, and especially with these channelers, they focus on other things. So um, with that said then, let's get started with you, and um, please go right ahead. Thank you, and before I get started, I do want to uh, thank everyone for your uh, loving, beautiful energy that you're sending out. It is truly, truly felt so. Thank you. I feel very comfortable. Um, I was nervous. At first, when Brie had asked me to do the Hukulo Saturday webinar, because it's Hukulo and it's huge. And anyway, thank you so much, everyone. Brie, thank you. You're very supportive. So, yeah, with that said, 
Um, I do have a being that's here. Uh, he is a Nordic, a Nordic being. Um, and usually what I do, if anyone has seen um, my videos, I describe what they look like. Uh, if they want, they give me a name and I'll proceed with the messages. Um, so this being, he's Nordic. He is about eight feet tall. He has, um, of course, the blonde hair, shoulder length. He's telling me he wants to go by the name Zach. Zach is what he goes by. Um, and he does have uh, messages to the community, to humanity. So I'm, if I pause a little bit, it's because I am listening in. So forgive me for that. So let me just make my connections to him. I see him very clearly. He's here. So one moment. So he's starting out by saying, uh, you know, he's grateful for, for this communication to be connecting to you all. Um, God, he's talking so fast. So humanity, he said that all of you that are here in this timeline that chose to be here are all here um, for a specific purpose. You all have uh, something to offer and so and also he's saying that all of us have uh, been through this type of uh, an ascension on other worlds so we come here with kind of like a backpack of information that we have to offer to each other and we all have you know different perspectives and this is what's going to help others wake up so you may or may not resonate with a specific channeler, but that doesn't mean that the information is wrong. It just means that the way that it's presented to you is not really settling with you. So, of course, there are other channelers that you will connect to and you will resonate with. And this whole channeling, uh, everything that we're doing here, is to help you reach your own information because you all have all of this information within you. Okay, so it's meant to lead you to yourself so you can unlock um, that very important message that you have to give to others and so on and so on. And that information will help others wake up to their, their potential, their, their gifts. Um, and this is how it works. So as a community, it's important that we support each other. And when you receive these messages, He's encouraging you all to just let it sit with you free of judgment, okay? This is the allowing process. Free of judgment, let it sit with you and see where it goes. Connect to yourself and bring forth the information that you have within you. So he's pausing right now um, for Bree, if you have any questions or anything that you want to add. I have a blessing. It's coming through me. Excellent. Please. No. <laughs>
Thank you. I believe that was reptilian or the dragon race. It certainly sounded something like that. Thank you, yeah, Johannes. Thank you so much. I was not thank expecting you. that. All that right. gave me like a boost. <laughs> there you go. Some power for you. So um, actually, I did want to elaborate a little bit. Um, well, see if you, you, you both can maybe elaborate because in terms of listening to channelers that as we are doing right now, um, it seems like there is a lot of emphasis. People, people mm -hmm. get so excited when they come across this information and um, maybe there, is there anything that the, the, the Nordic would like to say in terms of maybe discernment and, you know, really paying attention to what you truly resonate with and maybe not fully opening your arms wide and believing every tiny little piece of information you ever hear. Because I know I've also gone through this journey myself and it is a learning process. Yeah. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Um, and, and, this is what he's saying. He's saying that humanity has a tendency to worship and, and, and hang on to every words that, you know, is of light that comes to them. But the idea of all of this, and he said this before, is to truly, truly just listen and, uh, without judgment and, and see where it goes. He, he's repeatedly saying this. And this is to, um, supposed to lead you to your own answers and to your own conclusions. Channelers will give you um, not the whole um, message that you're looking for, but part of it. And, and this is done on purpose so that you can reach for yourself and get your own messages. It's like they're opening a gateway for you, okay, for you, because you, we have different views and perceptions of life, okay? And so just because I have this view uh, doesn't mean that you need to have this view as well. I will lead you to yourself. This is the idea of it. So I hope that answers your question in regards to uh, discernment and how you perceive channelers. Yes, it does. Um... I, I just felt very much recently like it is very important. I wonder if sometimes it's, I don't know, it's interesting. And this is a learning process for everyone. All of this is, we have to go through all of this now. So really just just listen to what you resonate with. If, if you don't like something, you know, if it doesn't sit right with you, it's, it, it's okay. You're, you have a choice, you know, you're Absolutely. free will. So. And it's not mm -hmm. that the, that information is wrong. It's just that, okay, so there are soul mm -hmm. groups, right? And we tend to vibrate within our soul groups. And you know when you meet someone that's in your soul group, you just have this absolute connection to them. And what they're saying really penetrates to your soul. And so, and those are the channelers that you will feel attracted to, to, to listen to their messages. Because it really, really sits well with you. And so that's what he means by resonating with others and not resonating. It doesn't mean that they're wrong. And also, um, he's kind of off topic right now. He's talking about um, part of what we're here to do is to balance our negative and our, well, you could say negative and positive, light and dark. Humanity has such a huge, huge, huge capacity or, or, uh, to love. And, and it's the same with the, the dark side. And so the glue that holds us all together, that energy, um, without us having to uh, compromise our, our views, perception, our identity, is that energy that we call love. We must remember the love that we have for each other. This is how we become a collective. Um, we are uh, slightly different from other collectives. You know, other collectives are um connected from the mind and and whatever the heart if you want to say and they tend to have um similar views with us we are totally um individuals 
And, and part of what gives us our individuality is our ego. Now your ego is your friend. Your ego will work with you. Uh, we have to learn how to shed the ego, you could say that, or he's saying train your ego to work with you because ego is what tells you, it's protective, it's what tells you what's real and what's not. And sometimes you may have to tell your ego, you know, this is happening, so we're going to allow this to happen, okay? So ego could set you apart, and it also can bring you together and take you as far as you want to go. So part of this life is learning to balance all of that out. It's a balancing act. It is a balancing act, and it is um, important to also, because there's a lot of talk about ego, there's a lot of talk about, you know, these, these different understandings of like the different parts of who we are. Um, and then there's the understanding that actually this, this separation, as we mentioned, is an illusion. So separating the ego from the rest of us is just another separation. So it's like a, we have to find harmony, it seems, with these different aspects yeah. of ourselves and not letting one over overrule or fight with the other you know um um and and even i mean some people even say that saying e oh it was their ego well then that's like a cop-out type of thing so um there does seem to be a big conflict with that yeah and, and he doesn't maybe i use the wrong word he doesn't like the word separation Basically, okay. what ego does is it gives you a sense of individuality, and, and that's not totally wrong. That's absolutely correct because we, like he said before, all have our own views and perception of life, and that's great. Uh, what we need to do now is um, find a way to come together without compromising any of that because that is who, what makes us who we are. And so the energy that will do that for you is that energy that we call love. It's what binds humanity together. Kind of like a beautiful, he's showing me like a quilt. Okay, that's who we are. We just need to remember that unconditional love that we have for each other. Yes, beautiful. Okay, um, we did have a few questions lining up here. Um, would you want to start taking some? Yes, please. Okay, wonderful. And from what I understand, because people are asking, you know, who who's being channeled this and that, you, yeah. you're connected to so much and it's kind mm -hmm. of you're going to bring through whoever is is right for each person, it sounds like, yes? Yeah, I don't know if this being um, is going to stay for questions. I know he just came for uh, this message. And so, yeah, okay. I will connect to either my guides or their guides, whoever's asking the question or angels and and give you the okay. information that you need at the moment. Wonderful. I wanted to make sure that was clear for people who um, who are a little confused, and we appreciate the um, Nordic for standing by right now. So yeah, the Nordic. first question we did have was from um, Angie, if you're able to unmute. Sure. Is Angie here? Yeah, hi. Hi, Ade. Hi. Uh, <laughs> this this is gen I think my where's my mic? Right, yeah. Uh, this is a general question, not a general, a personal question. Okay. Um, we know each other, right? Yeah. Um, I just want to address uh, my channeling. I feel like um, I'm at a crossroads and I'm not too sure which way to take. And I was wondering if you had some sort of guidance or confirmation as to the direction I'm heading in, which should I go to left or right? <laughs> and this is in regards to your channeling? Yeah, yeah. I mean, okay. I just want some, like, someone else's point of view besides oh. my own guides all the time, you know, because uh, I, I've never, I've never had, had an opportunity to ask you anything before. Oh, okay, lovely. Well, thank you for your question. I'll see who I can connect to for you, okay? So, one moment. Thank you. <sighs> so,
So you have several angels around you. Um, the ones that I picked up on, uh, there is Metatron and there is uh, Gabriel. Okay. Uh, I'm going to see who will speak to you in regards to this. Getting. Yeah. So I believe Metatron is the one that's speaking, and this is what he's telling me. He's saying that you are working out inner conflicts within yourself. Um, as far as channeling and also as far as what's going on in your life right now, um, I don't know if it's home life, but it's not about what direction to take, go left or right. It's really um, about allowing the energies to come through you and, and resolve this. There is a lot of um, heart chakra issue that mm -hmm. you need to release. And this is tied to a partially past life that has bled into this life. Mm -hmm. And so go through the release process. Uh, release as it comes to you. And it does come to you at times. You may or may not be aware of it. Sometimes it comes to you in your sleep state. And so just allow this energy to just come through you and release it. And your path, will, it's already clearing up for you, but it'll be even more clear. So you don't specifically have to pick left or right, right or wrong, should I go this way or that way, um, you will be guided. Yeah. I, I, I have this uh, feeling of maybe channeling uh, a message as such, uh, rather um, uh, sharing an, a life experience. Like, uh, let's take a negative one. Like, uh, the topic of like rape if I were to address rape and how what actually happens and and how you move the positive in, out of that you know just try to connect with people on that level um, yeah. oh, I, this is not a question anymore it's become a discussion no no you're correct this is this is absolutely correct this is part of your release when you're discussing these experiences or these messages with people, you are releasing it also from yes. yourself. So this is all part of the healing process for you and others. You heal yourself and you'll heal others that need to hear this information from you. Okay, so in a sense, it is part of your path and you are here to help with that. So go with your intuition. You're being guided. I know you feel it. You're being guided. Yes. So go with your intuition. You're not getting, you're getting these um, and feelings and, and messages um, because that's what you need to do next. All right. And so allow the energy to come through. What feels right will come through you. Okay. Thank you. And you're Dave. very powerful in that sense. So trust your intuition. You're very welcome. Much love. Love you too. Uh, thank you. Bye. All right, thank you so much. Uh, we have a message. Message. We have a question from Carolina next. Okay. Hello. Hi, Adam. Hi Carolina. How are you? I'm really well. Thank you for being here. I love your energy. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm sending healing to everybody. You're such an angel. Thank you. Thank you. I love you. So, Angie. Um, <laughs> thank you. I just saw that. Um, Yesterday, last night, somebody uh, felt a uh, feline energy around me that came to visit me. I was wondering if you could tell me anything about it, please. This feline energy? Okay, one moment. <sighs> okay, so... I'm feeling this feeling to be a very protective entity, um, very tall, eight to nine feet tall. I don't know if he has a, as she, sounds very male. Has any messages for you, one moment. This being is here to clear the area and the air around you. It seems like your space 
at times can be a bit crowded and that's a lot of energy coming at you at once so it can feel a bit uncomfortable for you so that is what this being is here to do for you just to clear your area and your space for you thank you um, did not give me a name i don't know if a name is necessary this being is telling me you can call it whatever you wish as far as having um, a past life connections with you I don't see very much of that. It's just really interested in you and, and helping you in your path. Okay, thank you. Um, and uh, do you have any general messages for me? For you? For anybody? Okay, one moment. Yes, please. Yes. There is a being, a lion, it's a lion race, a lion being that um, comes in and out of your space. He wants you to know that you're doing really well. You're starting to trust yourself and your information. You're going at exactly the right speed, I want to say, or, or rate. And so he appreciates that you're very patient and you're allowing this whole process to take place in a beautiful way. So keep just keep doing what you're doing. Thank you so much. I think I know who that is. Can I say the name? Please. Sally. Sally. Yeah. He's, uh, he's, he's very trans like, friend. Oh, OK. Yeah, he's very, very like military-esque kind of thing. <laughs> yes. And so yeah, he's he just he checks in on you, and he comes in to just see how you're doing and he's happy he's very pleased you're starting to trust yourself and the information that comes through you you're doing great thank you I think about him a lot oh do so, you really yeah. oh yeah. that's sweet yeah. okay awesome. thank you Ade. much love thank, thank you so you. much I love you oh, I love you. you too thank you <laughs> <laughs> oh wonderful thank you so much um, we do have a question from a YouTube live viewer she goes by Dana Kilby, and she was asking if there are any messages from her spirit guides today. Dana, okay, one second. Okay, so she has three young souls around her. I don't know if these souls are guides or hybrid children. I just see three young souls around her. They circle her quite often. Um, they just want her to know of their presence and that they are watching her. One moment. They are saying that they hear her. They hear her calls. And yeah, it's just they're mostly there to let her know of their presence. Sometimes uh, she so desperately wants to know if they are around her. I don't know if she's aware of them, but they're making their presence known to her. I don't know if there are any other beings around her. I'll check. Or guides. She's been doing a lot of karmic past life releasing, and so that's going... That's going well. It, it has been a little hard for her in the last few months. They want her to know that it's, it's going to all come to an end. And so just stay positive. That's the message. OK, thank you. All right, wonderful. We have a question from YouTube live chat user Lavender Mountain Cloud. Pretty. Um, who? <laughs> I know, who is asking if um, you would be able to provide any information on detoxing the body as she or he is going through some lymphatic issues and they've been trying to um, do various natural liquid herbal formulas and stuff, but they're looking for more insight. So they would just like an elaboration on this topic? Yeah, um, detoxing with from lymphatic issues, yes.
Well, I see a Pleiadian guide around this person. And this guide is telling me that he's been doing everything he can in the physical to cleanse himself or, or do the cleanse. He's tried many cleanse. What is left for him to do is now um, allow the healing energies to come through him to help him. It's kind of like a boost to the cleanse that he's doing. It helps that he's open to this type of a concept. So reach for his guides and his angels to help him with the rest of the cleansing. He's doing actually all right. There has been some progress from what I gather, from what I'm getting. And so as far as doing the cleansing on the physical level, he's done everything he could. So now just let spirit take care of the rest. It is part of the process that he chose to go through in this lifetime to test his capacity to heal. And this is all that I have for him. I believe it's a male. I'm not sure I keep saying him, but yeah, this is what I have for him. Okay, thank you so much. Have. Thank you. Yes, I'm sure. Okay, we have a question next from a YouTube user named Ivy Rain, who is asking if there are any messages for them. Okay, one moment. So there is a, a beautiful female being that appeared before me. I believe this is a guide for this person. Um, I'll see if she has messages for this person, Ivy. It seems like she's been sending a lot of healing energy. He's, I don't know if it's a male, quite receptive at times. There has been a lot of, from what she's telling me, disturbance in this person's space or life. Um, and so she's encouraging him to clear his space with sage. There's incense that they can burn and have white candles around them. If they go through a meditation, light some white candles uh, to help clear the space even more. It seems like clearing space is a topic for this person. So that's what they're encouraged to do. Clear your space. You are well protected. Nothing to worry about. Blessings. That's it. Thank you. All right. Great. Um, we have a question next from Pavel. Hi, Pavel. If he's able to unmute. There he is. With no sound. Is your mic working, man? Hmm. It's a mystery. Maybe he can type well, his... Um... Yeah, um, if you could either type or maybe exit and come back. I'm not sure what's going on. We will. Is it oh, working now? Yeah, hi. Hi, Paul. Ah, okay. It was. Hi, hi. Uh, how are you? I'm really well. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you again, too. <laughs> and sure. And um, my question is um, I had a dream about being a doctor in some facility and I think doing some experiments um, <clears throat> I think it was after I asked a question if there was a past life uh, influencing my current life and I had seen this dream so can you elaborate about the dream yes absolutely one moment This past life that you're, it is a past life that you're connecting to um, as a, a doctor in a facility, but the type of doctor that I see is more a researcher. That is what you're connecting to, and it is helping you. I don't know if you're working on a project in this life, or you have a certain curiosity about 
a, a topic, but this you're reaching for this to help you get information. Um, what was the other part of your question? I'm sorry. Um, was there another part to your question? Yes. Or you just yes, want to know um, if there was a past life you're reaching for? Um, well, uh, it, uh, Take your time, I'm sorry. It was connected to a question about, uh, um, about being a Zeta Gray and doing experiments on human. And after I asked if it was true, if I, if I had this life, I had this dream being the doctor and doing yeah. that. Yeah, yes, that is true. It is a past life you're connecting to. Um, and sometimes our past comes to us for a specific reason. Uh, it could be for releasing or it could be for something that aids us in whatever we're doing now. It could help you in, in what you're going through now. And it seems like um, this past life you're connecting to, I don't see it or perceive it as a negative. Um, I see it as more a researcher. You, you are not a part of any um, Zeta project that harmed anyone. I don't see you doing that. It's, um, they're very analytical and they're very advanced in that way. And so this is helping you. It's here to remind you of that past. It's helping you in what you're doing now. I don't know, are you working on a specific project or do you have a curiosity about this topic? And not on being a doctor, but I started to learn right. uh, programming. Yes, so it's, it's opening up this uh, wiring or, or, or brain activity for you to um, understand and analyze what information you're receiving. And so it's there to help you in a very positive way. Do not okay. fear it. Sure, thank you. I just had okay. some <clears throat> bad luck and I thought maybe it's connected with... Um, oh, no. I don't see this as being a negative or bad luck. Um, it's going to help you. Okay, sure. Okay. And uh, a last question. Is there a method, message? Message for you? Yes, yeah, sure. Okay, one moment. Well, if the message that I hear for you is connect to nature more. I don't know if you're much of a nature boy, but uh, it's something that you've certainly done before, and this can help clear up the fog that you may have sometimes in your head, whether it's information overload, with what you're doing, um, but just take a moment to go outside, take a breath of air, connect to nature, to trees, plant life, to water, anything that uh, you have access to, just connect more, and this can help clear your mind up. Hey, thank you, so C counts as well, right? This I can't, I didn't hear you, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The gradient C is, is okay, because I don't have much nature, I have a C. Yeah, water absolutely counts. Absolutely. Connect to water. Yes, whatever you have access to, connect to nature more. Okay? okay. You can even sit by the water and, and talk it out because you do get messages that come through you. Talk it out. Okay, this helps you. Sure. sure. Thank you very much. Much love. Thank you, Pavel. Much love. Thank you. All right. So we have um, a few more minutes left. We have yes. a few more questions. Before we move on to some more questions, I just wanted to show you really quick. Are you able to see this? Con drew it while, see it while you were giving the message from Zach. Oh, yay. I love Con's drawings. I know. Would you say this is kind of accurate? I don't see it. Where is feel? it? Oh, I'm Does sorry. Does see it? Um, I had clicked, I clicked on him here. Is there a link I can look at? Or Hold on one second. Here we go. Now I should be ah. presenting it to everyone. Oh, beautiful. Khan, yes. Absolutely. Wow. Yes. Very detailed, too. That's, Very detailed. that's amazing. Very detailed. <laughs> and yeah, oh, and, and awesome. also like what he was wearing is similar to that uh, also. Thank you, Khan. You're amazing. Yeah. Incredible. Okay, oh, so I just wanted to quickly throw that up. I love oh, you, Khan. Thank face. you. <laughs> he 
is great. All right, we're very, uh, very lucky here in this group. We have very talented people Absolutely. all over the place. So I love the exchange of energy. Thank you, guys. I know, so much fun. We have a question next from Michelle. Uh, Michelle, did you want to unmute, or I, I know you had. Um, yeah, sure. Um, oh, thanks. Um, Hi, Michelle. Hi, sweetheart. Um, <laughs> I, I'm not really sure which question to ask, so I'll, I'll just kind of just free, ask. I'm going to free flow. Um, so I had some dental work done, and uh, it's not going well. Um, Pain. Yeah, and also other things. Um, so what I'm finding is that I have a loop in my head that really goes to why do we live? Why do I have to live? And um, I'm really tired of this loop because I know it doesn't have to be this way. Like, I mean... I literally intellectually understand that this is all an illusion, et cetera, et cetera. So I don't know why it keeps going there. Um, so something related to that. You want to see if there's messages for you in that regard? Yeah. Okay, sure. Okay, I'm connecting to your silver looking guide, silver Pleiadian. This is the, I don't know if this is the guide that helps you with your healing, but he is giving you a lot of healing energy, okay? And this experience is not meant to break you. It's only meant to push you more into your healing. And so as much as you do for others, you give healing to others, direct some of that healing to you as well. Um, one moment. I see um, part of what you're experiencing is a little bit of your own negativity as well. This is something that you must work through with yourself. Okay, you are meant to be in this life. You do have a lot to offer. A lot of healing. Reach for your angelic lifetimes. You have so much of it that's there for you. So reach for that. Hmm. And, and help clear your area. Do a clearing of your area and clear yourself of this. Um, we're all here to balance out our positive and negative side. So you need to do a little more of that with the also... Do more of the masculine and, and feminine energy balancing as well. What does that mean? What does it mean to balance out your masculine and feminine energy? Yes. It looks like for you, a certain part, the masculine side takes over you. Okay. And um, this is uh, for you, what it means for you. One moment. This is the more aggressive side of you, okay? This is the side that is telling you this is too much for me. I don't want to be a part of this. Uh, why is it that I can heal others but I can't help myself? When you bring in more of the feminine side, the nurturing, the unconditional side of you, you not only increase your healing ability, but you show more compassion to yourself and you're less judgmental. You seem to judge yourself quite a bit. Okay. I have another question because my young son, <laughs> beautiful soul that he is, literally gave me kind of a smackdown last night on, um, um, and I don't know what's true for me because 
um, you know David, and he is very sick, and he is also very heavy, dark energy. And um, my son, 20 year old, you know, he was like, don't you dare not help him. Don't you dare. And um, that really, yeah. that really struck me. Like, I don't, I don't know what's the right balance. Like, I don't know right. what the right balance is for that. Well, it's really, okay, one moment. There is a message that's coming through. And I think this is from my guides. Uh, they want to let you know that it's, Although it's great that you want to help others, um, you can't overextend yourself because then you become deprived of um, energy. Okay, it's not a fair and ex energy exchange when you're constantly trying to help David and others, mostly David. It seems like you are taking on part of his, not in the physical, but illness, that energy that may seem dark to you. Uh, because you you do have a soft spot for this person. You love him just as much as you love everybody else, but you just feel like you need to take this on for him. But it's not really helping you much, is it? It's actually contributing to a lot of the feelings that are coming over you, a lot of the why do I need to be in this life. So your son is telling you in a, he's more uh, reptilian energy. That's what's kind of like you can't do this you know like that more like aggressive or authoritative kind of tone he's actually trying to help you remember a, you know yourself no. apply some of that healing energy to you so it's not in any um negative oh. way it's for your own well-being and so yeah oh, focus son, on yourself my my son's version of that was don't you dare let him be alone in this you show up you show up oh. well my guides again will remind you um, to care for yourself part of helping others is to self-care and you can't possibly give the energy and the healing to others if you don't have it right so direct some of that energy to you I have a um... One last question. Okay. Um, I was given the opportunity to <coughs> do a group healing um, for a women's group in town, and I am terrified. <laughs> so if somebody would like to chime in on whether that should happen in January or later, that would be super fantastic. What I feel is it's more nervousness. That's why you're terrified, correct? You're nervous um, to share that space and energy with, with others because you're not sure. I'm not sure how to present it because yeah. I don't even understand it myself. So. Yeah. Okay, so you want to know if, you, if it's a good idea or not? Yeah. Okay. What I'm getting uh, from your guide, your silver guide, is do a lot of um, self-care and self-healing first. And you have allowed yourself enough time to do that before the event begins. But this event is meant to help others as well as yourself. And so, yes, share your energy. But first, take care of yourself. OK. That's, that's the message that the silver Pleiadian is giving. Thank you very much. Thank you. Much love. I, I think that. I have time. Is there any more questions? I think the time has come to an end, right? Yes, unfortunately. Um, I know okay. I wish we could extend this, but for today, we will have to move on to our next channeler, which is exciting. We have Brian oh, Sims. Yeah. So thank you so much for thank coming you, and answering these questions. People have been very elated with um, oh, thank you so much. I love everybody. Thank you. Much love all.
Thank you, thank you. This has been great. So then next, let's move on to Brian Sims. Are you still there? Still hanging on? <laughs> he he might have yes. just left. Just can, left. Perfect. Can you hear me okay? I'm kidding. Hi, uh, yeah, I can hear you. Am I coming through okay, Bree? You sure are. Okay, good. We hear you, Brian. Be amazing. I love you so much, Brian. Oh, no pressure, right? <laughs> no pressure, man. Uh, to follow, no. To follow can... a day? Are you kidding me? Oh, come on. <laughs> You're good. good. Can we see your camera, or are you um, concerned about your internet? I'm going to keep it off for today. Um, okay, that's right fine. Right now, um, it might be a little choppy. It always slows down my computer for some reason. So, well, yeah. we would rather hear you, Yeah. to be honest. So... <laughs> It's all good. It's all good. Uh, no, we have lots of questions in the I'm, queue. So gonna, um, for right now, I'm going to skip on the questions. Um, I would just like to speak for a little bit. Um, I'm going to bring through my higher self, and um, I want I want uh, this one to uh, to to share uh, the wisdom. I'm going to kind of combine uh, what Gabriel has spoken on and what a day has said. I want to combine everything and bring it into a into a focus. Um, I think this is very important about the self and about why loving the self is so important. And so, um, yes, if, if you don't mind. Please, this is exciting. We appreciate it. Give me a second here to tune in. And what's really interesting about this is by doing this, I'm going to touch on a lot of people's questions. So even this group, I'm going to start to feel what they're feeling. And I'm going to really tune in to each, every person who's already asked the question, because this is, this is what it was all about. So let me bring this all together as much as I can, right? Greetings, dear friends. This is Brian's higher self. We would like to begin with a journey about the self and why it's so important to look at the self and why it is okay to love thyself very deeply and very um, uh, passionately and why this is so important. First, let, let's go by beginning to say thank you for all that has joined right now. This is very, very important. We are here to bring a different perspective. It's not greater than. It's just a different perspective of looking at the, that which you are. That which you are is very important because you are, yes, you see yourself as a third dimensional being on the planet, meaning that you see yourself in reality as a, a physical being. That which you perceive and that which you see is always connected. It is a part of the universe. But right now, we'd like to expand on why loving the self. Why is that so important? Why do people have ailments? Why do people have disease? Why do people have... Let's start with this thought. It is from a perspective that these diseases, these thoughts, these negativity, where does that all come from? It's really generated from your perspective, my friends. It's from your beliefs, the how you were raised. But do you necessarily have to hold on to those beliefs? Of course not. You don't really have to hold anyone else's energy also. Because it's really, you're not going to be, whatever they choose, whatever they say about you, whatever is perceived a negative, negatively uh, projected at you, you don't have to take that on. That is not your issue. You see, you're holding it because you're anticipating what others may think of you. But necessarily, it's not really about that. It's really about you, can you be content? Can you be in balance with thyself? Can you allow yourself to love yourself so much that your cup overflows? You're not really worrying about mm, 
what others think because you give your power away to them. You allow yourself to be vulnerable. Yes, you're afraid of what they think or may, may say to you, but that's okay. You don't have to take it personally. They're just allowing you to see different aspects of yourself. That's really what it's about. So to love thyself truly is getting into a space to say, ah, I'm okay with what others think. And really, it's not my, it's not my, um, it's not up to me on how they think of me or how they look at me. Because if I give my power away, I'm thinking and feeling, oh my God, what is that person going to think of me if I go into a, um, if I go into a room and start talking and start, start, talk, start speaking about myself? What's going to happen if I become vulnerable? And what if I say the wrong thing? I don't even know where to begin. How am I going to guide this meditation? But yet, you do have the power, my friend. You start with yourself. You allow yourself to not worry what others will think. Just start speaking. Break the ice. Say something, a funny joke, or something that just comes to you. It's a learning experience. That's why we're here, my friends. It's just to experience life itself. No expectation. The only thing that's expected is what you place upon yourself. But that's okay. So these things of about self-appreciation, let's go into the now the appreciation of thyself. What is it about? Why do we have so much judgment against thyself? We're allowing others. We're thinking outside that, oh my God, it doesn't really matter, does it? It only matters what you think. You're not self being selfish because you think of yourself. So to rise above this, that gratitude, that self-appreciation, that's what it's about. It's not about how much you give. It's not about how much you get. Be in the state of allowance. Allow that energy to flow to you. It comes at the perfect time. You're not here trying to control it. That's why we get wrapped up into control. How about control versus command? In control, we try to, we really restrict everything that the universe can give to us. But in a state of command, you're taking action. You're taking responsibility for thyself. Why sometimes we say, ah, why do I need to get, mm, I don't feel like taking responsibility. You know, I feel like just being told what to do. Or it's so much easier, isn't it? When we can just go through life and not really think about or take orders from someone else, how to think, how to act, how to be. But really, do we really need that? For a guidance to a certain extent, if you allow yourself that, sure, it's okay. There's no right or wrong. But if you want to take command instead of trying to control everything, you'll see that it's so much less energy trying to mm, control if you just allow. The allowance is very different. The allowance allows you to respect thyself, to honor thyself, to see thyself in a perfect state of balance. You're not trying to control. Because through control, you're, try, you're actually trying to not only control your own existence, but you're trying to control everything else around you. And that takes a lot of energy, my friends. It's not really about that. It's really about you being you, you being the authentic self, being that which you are in the moment. Not trying to think so much about the past and not trying to anticipate the future. Be content with who you are now. Yes, you can have expectations of what you want in the future, but don't let it get so caught up where you can't function in the moment. You see, you take yourselves out of the moment because you're so into the future. What if? What if this happens? What if that happens? That's in the future. Why worry about it? You really have no control over that. So why worry about it? Bring yourself in the state of now, in the moment. You see, that self-appreciation, that self-love of knowing thyself, of loving thyself, that's what's most important, isn't it? Truly, do you really have anything to fear? No. It's only because you allow yourself to feel the fear. 
you only allow yourself to feel that because it's a belief. Ah, if I go down the street, I might get harmed. You're only believing that. There might be a high probability, yes, but does it necessarily mean that that's going to happen to you exactly? No. Your choices, your most powerful state of being is in the moment and choosing to choose freely. You were gifted this opportunity, this on this duality planet, polar left, polar right. This is who you are. You're in this moment. We think of these fourth dimensional things, these fifth dimensional things. These are like guides. These are, they are the up perspective. Be the down perspective, my friends. Be that which you choose to be in the moment. You can connect with your angelics, your friends, your extraterrestrial friends. They're listening. They're always around. But yet, you're the one that makes the choice. Am I doing it right? Am I doing it wrong? It's you. You're being with you or thyself. You're taking command in spite of fear. That's another thing. Why let the fear, if the fear creeps up on you, it's only because you're allowing it. And if the fear's there, say, ah, hello, friend. How are you? You're just trying to get my perspective. It's okay. You're trying to allow me to see something that I need to look at now. Why am I so afraid? Why am I looking at it from this perspective? What really scares the hell out of me? Why do I need to judge it? Do I really need to judge it? Why? Ask yourself, is it worth my energy? Is it worth my time? You are your creation. You are that which you perceive, that which you push out is coming from you. It's your perspectives, my friend. It's how you see it, how you view it. Do I allow? Do I project? It's all about you. So loving thyself and bringing it down into a state of command is you. Allow yourself to feel if you have the anger and you feel frustrated. It's okay. The tears that people cry also, those tears that when we cry and we're full of mm, this energy of sadness, it's a release. It's okay. It's actually healing the body. Those tear and the tear ducts, they are actually a release. They're healing also the eyes. They're good for the eyes. It waters the eyes and the pupil. It actually helps, believe it or not. So the releasing is wonderful because it allows ourselves to, ah, I don't have to carry the weight of the world. I can let go of this backpack that I've been carrying. I think I have to save the planet, save the whales, save this, this planet. from No, dear friend. It's really, you don't have to save anything. It's allowing. It's good to have a mission sometimes or, or something that you're strongly passionate about. It's finding your passion. It's okay to be supported and be in these groups because this is what's needed sometimes, these support groups. No matter if it's one-on-one -on -one or you in a, in, in a group. But remember, it always comes back to thyself. What I love about thyself. What do I honor inside about myself? It's really about an empowerment and an upliftment of energy. You see? These energies are here to serve. They're here to play. They want to be expressed. Learning to allow thyself to express thyself. That's another thing. We, we come to a planet. We forget we, who we are. We have amnesia, like this block. And we don't know how to share our ideas, how to, to express ourselves. Some of us express ourselves through music, through the arts, through entertainment, through just by talking. But some, wow, that, what happens is when we find that we're taking on the weight of the world, we don't know sometimes how to express ourselves. We hold ourselves back because we feel the pressure is too great. This is the key. I'll find for each individual that is listening right now and who will listen in the future. Find that which you want to express. Some medium of expression. Allow yourself because then you're not holding it all onto your uh, beingness. You're not, you're not holding it into that deep, dark parts of yourself. You're not holding that, holding on to anger. You're not so much holding on to the resentment. You're not holding on such to certain things that 
don't serve you. Through expression, you're allowing yourself an avenue to release. You're allowing yourself to push it. You're allowing yourself just to be, but you're allowing yourself to share what you want in the moment. If it's getting a journal as an example and writing things down, do it. If it serves you in that moment, take what serves you and that which doesn't serve you, leave the rest behind in the moment. The reason we stay in the moment is because every time it changes from moment to moment. So this is why it's important to express thyself. Don't hold back that which has been buried deep within thyself for many months or years. Find a way through your choices to express thyself because you're releasing it, my friends. You're releasing the anger, the resentment, that which has been held up within you. And you're, you're letting go of those things, that those attachments that no longer serve you. If it serves you, then allow it. But if it doesn't, let it go. You see? So the taking command of oneself is taking responsibility and owning it and being thankful to the universe and to the thyself that I took responsibility. It was me. I cannot place the blame on anyone else. And why should I? I'm the one that's choosing it. Agree? I'm the one that's making the choice. You see? So it's really finding thyself and coming down to a place where, ah, can I be content? Can I be happy with who I am? And if I, things irritate me, if anything gets in my way or a blockage, why is that? Look at it. Examine it. Say, ah, is it really a part of myself or am I taking on others' energy? If it doesn't serve me, let it go. You see, it comes down to that self-expression, that love for another. When we love ourselves so much, we, it's so much easier to love any, those around us. We're not holding on to things that don't serve us anymore. You see? So that we, that's just a little tidbit we'd like to share. We're hoping that would assist and help those that are listening to this message and who will in the, in, in the future, dear friends. Much appreciation and love. Thank you. Namaste. Thank you, Brian and Brian's higher self. That was extremely enlightening and very soothing. As always, you have that sort of a voice. So um, that was very beautiful and a great way to wrap up what we have discussed here today. So it is very appreciated. And we are... Um, we have allotted a little bit more time for you, Brian, but it sounds like we're pretty much set here for today. So, um, yes, let's just uh, go to the blessings. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you. So we will do some blessings and then after I will um, quickly go over just how to get in touch with, um, the channelers we had here today. So, um, would anyone like to start with blessings for us? To close. I'll do one um, free if uh, I can start or if anybody else wants to come in, that's fine. Please, Wendy. We gather to hear we gather here today in the light of our unconditional love, in the spirit of oneness and unity and kindness to all creatures. We are learning the idea of the gifts, of the simplicity of releasing anger, worry, judgment. We are embracing our existence, our necessity, our importance, our experience. We gather here in this idea of oneness, in an idea of safety and harmony, a place where we can share 
our truest selves, our highest versions of ourselves, and even our less than higher versions of ourselves in order to learn and grow and expand. We are not here to judge each other or each other's experience or our own experiences. These experiences are not happening to us. They're happening for us, by us. We are gods and goddesses. We are our own creators. Step into this knowledge. Step into this awesomeness of yourself. Be in awe of all that you are. For it is only when you embrace this that you that you let go of the fear is that if it's a jacket that no longer fits you, it's that simple. Let it go. Let it go. As all that you have heard today, all these beautiful messages from all these beautiful spirits, all for you, each of you, a very special message has been embroidered into the fabric of you, embroidered into the fabric of the quilt, as was beautifully given today as an illustration. For you are all threads of a gorgeous, beautiful quilt. You are one. You are one. No more, Kia Satisha Mia Lakua Palakua Sia Palakina or Topoa. No more, Rakasi, Tia Melehana Kola Katilan de Sopola. Mokora she, Mialana Kira, a Topoa. Molohama la Katisa Tia Longila Kiano Bala, or Toshi a la Candira Sopola and Dirikola Hanoa, or Toshipola Hana. Feel your hearts beating within your chest as you resonate with, the, with each other's heartbeats, as you all breathe and beat with the one heart of the source, of the one light that glows and burns within you to become all that you came to be, to experience in this very small breath of your existence. This experience, in this way, in this now, you have come to do this, to take this journey together. Nyasote shini ala katoya mahala, soto sipilanturi ki ala hora, siingera rue ama ki loku asata shiva ala kima ala usoturi saya ala yima kia to shokolo yana si toriwala. And we are one with you. And you are carrying the light of the one source within you in every breath, in every movement, every interaction. And we are one, and we are love, and you are love. Mahala, namaste, be in harmony. Thank you so much, Wendy. That was absolutely beautiful. And another wonderful way to sum up everything we've heard here today. Please, everyone, let these energies of unconditional love and compassion and oneness sink deep into your soul because that is why we're here. We have uh, next, I think Michelle was willing to do a blessing for us. Ene sukota te he na he shuta ta kanana e na kushuta te ne o na e o e na 
so much there was many layers of many things in that blessing that was very multifaceted um, and very healing for you and me and all of us I appreciate it Gabriel did you say you had something to add yeah I have some I want to bring some more, some positive ending to this. So, with Actorian, they are all, always so happy. So, yes. <laughs> live in joy. Well, with that language, anybody can live in joy. <laughs> Thank you. That is fun. All right. I will do one quick, and I think we can end for today. So now with that, Gabe, um, Hantia hao so ahara hanta Ioso hanti o ahara nyoko ashanta hara O no ahaya Ia honta ia kashana hana oro ho na ia sata O no ho o ya hayena ia sota to oro ho ana haro ko Mohaya ia o ko ara hanta ia so ko anta hara o ko on ta haya shara haya sata tao so no horo on to a mo horo on to mahi ao to mo kotoro o mahi ao to ko showa na ha mo ro on ta hi o to o ko o na hai a ta ao so on to o a ha Namaste Thank you, everybody, for joining us today. Yes, I'd like Let to us make a oh. debris real quick. I just, yeah. make, I just wanted to make okay. an announcement real quick for the new people that joined on here and for um, um, some uh, for the other members and those who are listening in the future. Um, yes, I will be giving uh, private sessions. I'm going to be doing private sessions for people. Um, within two weeks, I'll be starting this. Um, you guys can get a hold of me through uh, my YouTube page, which just look up Brian Sims. And um, you'll just scroll down a little bit and you'll find a man with a hat. It's my picture. And so off to the right, when you click on that, it'll be like a PayPal um, little button. So you can go to that. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to throw that out there to everyone. Um, just uh, and just uh, play with that. So thank you so much.
free and below. It's beautiful. Thank you, Brian. I'm so excited you're doing private sessions. Like I mentioned, um, your your voice is very soothing, very soothing. So um, I know it's important for you know this time right now for. Um, a lot of people. So, and the same with um, Ade, she said that she is doing private sessions. You can reach out to her. The um, links are in the description of this video. You can go to her website, which is um, mariahshealing.net. And also you can find her YouTube channel, Ade Mariah. And um, she also has a donate button on there as well. And Gabriel is starting out with all this stuff. So maybe he'll have things in the works in the future. We will see. So um, you can always you know, reach out to him or any of us. Please do not hesitate. We are a channeling community. And we welcome everybody. And we want to be here so that um, we're all able to help ourselves help each other. So um, with that said, don't forget to check out humancolony.org for upcoming events. And we do have a donate button. On, you can go to humancolony.org slash donate if you wish to help give us um, any sort of anything so that we can keep stuff like this going. It's much appreciated. We do have things in the works. Um, and also, if anyone would be willing to transcribe videos for us, we have hundreds and hundreds of amazing videos with amazing blessings and channelings and galactic poetry. And um, we are very welcoming of people who would like to transcribe our videos so that people can read the information instead of listening to a two or three hour long video. Um, lastly, we are looking for more moderators. Um, what I'm doing, you know, just making sure things go smoothly. So if anyone would like to volunteer to help us moderate, please let us know. So with that said, I think we will end for today. Thank you everybody for joining. For those who we weren't able to answer um, your questions or ask them, I do apologize. Thank you for sticking through. This was kind of a, a trial. This is the first time we've done a channel panel like this, a, a mini one. So um, it's been really fun. I think we're going to have more cool stuff like this in the future. We're going to try out some more things. So um, thank you, everybody. I will end for today. And we send you so much love and blessings. Thanks, Namaste. Marie. <laughs> Namaste.